Hey guys, it's Misha with a video. I was organizing and then I decided to sit down and um, play with some of these dominoes and other pieces that I had been given. Um, dominoes I actually bought myself. So what I was doing was I was using my... Bic markets and some sharpies and um, tiny small stamps like I stamped it and then I colored it which I probably should have done it the other way around but um, then I heat set it and it's like not coming off see that so I don't know if any of you have ever, this was red stays on, and then um, blue underneath, um, it's a blue Sharpie. So I colored it first, and then I added the hearts. This one is wood, and I actually was drawing on this side, and just doing some stuff and it looks like a mess so I'll, you know I'll cover that up with paper but this side came out really sweet right so um and I'm not really sure what this is it might be like a uh just a bead or something but I'm not sure but um there's holes in it so you can make it into a charm or you know something so I'm thinking you need to use this is a sweet stamp set and I am not sure where I got it but I like it um, I might have gotten it in the swap but like this bird um, cage right here is what I thought that we would try so um, let me clean my heart stamp here and I just use baby wipes I don't know what you guys use I used to use the stamp cleaner stuff but baby wipes are so much less expensive so all right anyway let's not make this a long tutorial but I just want you guys to see um, what I've been doing so um, I just add the stamp to the um, block and it's only gonna work like that on light colored ones like these are really nice ones so I'm gonna try it on that one and I think I will color it yellow with my markets big markets okay so I colored that yellow and I'm gonna heat it for a minute a second and be careful because it gets hot but you just want it dry enough that you can Stamp. So if I were you, I wouldn't hold it in your hands. Um, here's my stays on. And because on the birdcage, there's like a chain there, I want that to be as close to the top. And I might only be able to get the birdcage on, and that's fine, and not the chain. But... Check that out. Oh. See that? And I'm going to heat it up. And once you heat it, it's good to go. So if you guys have alcohol markers, any kind of alcohol markers will work. Um, but if you have them and you have like these little dominoes 
See that? No smearing. It's on there. Um, try it. And that was just, this one's awful. You can see, you can't really see the hearts in it. But um, that was like a first try. But then I did that. And the little bird cage. Isn't that cute? And you can decorate it or use it as um, a charm in your project. You know, whatever you wanted to do with it. So that is what I've been doing. And the ones that, you know, if you don't like what you, these are a dollar at the dollar store. Okay. And if you don't like what you've done, you can cover over them with paper. It's not a big deal. Um, there's also the wooden ones. Like I have the, these wooden ones. You could probably sand them down to um, the wood tone itself and then stamp on them and what else do I have here I have this wooden piece and you know the little game pieces you could stamp on those too you know so long as you're heat setting it why not um, why bother going through the hassle? Sorry about that. I was trying to see if there was anything else. Why go by? Why bother going through the hassle of covering it with paper unless that's what you want to do? If you have tiny stamps that will make it look pretty, and if you want to cover over the numbers, go ahead. I don't um, see that they're a problem, but some people might. And might not like them so you could cover the numbers with paper and if you do I would suggest using um, Mod Podge or glossy accents or um, liquid glass triple thick um, something like that you could use and cover it over it and if you want to see how that's done, leave me a message below and I'll show you. Thanks for watching.